Alright guys, I'm back. Um, this is gonna be episode 5, because this damn shambler, um, says destroy the painting, okay. I get destroying the painting, I know what I have to do, but I can't do it. I mean, I totally don't have a damn lighter or anything, but whatever. Getting annoying, okay? This is really annoying. Okay, this is why I'm not giving this as many points what as Observer. This has a better story and everything than Observer. But when it comes to the gameplay, this is what I heard people bitching about and I understand because you can't fight it, you can't do anything. And you can't even look at it without it getting triggered. You know what? Fuck you. I'm going to hide behind these statues. looking at you you fuck the entire shebang to do that. What the hell was that? Um, a pain in the ass is what it was, Pierce. Just one big, huge pain in the ass. is they just stayed in the damn closet.
down. Maybe I can use this dagger. Okay, there it is. We're gonna let the shitty AI dance. Just what dagger this dick grabbed? What dagger did you grab, you? Okay, which one did you grab? You grabbed the one in the back. What was that? Uh. Exact same thing we were doing. I'm a 
afraid to leave because the damn AI doesn't know what it wants, so it goes back and forth. See, watch. See what I mean? Exactly what I mean. It just stands there. So you're, right. so you're stuck. You know what? I'm gonna bring Hunter into this. Why not? Catman and my other friend Tyler. So guys, uh, you are unintentionally starring in my Call of Cthulhu video because I am in a chapter right now hiding from a monster called the Shambler. And this damn monster is like the alien in Alien Isolation. You know, you gotta hide from it, except you have two places to hide, and if you look at it, it, it knows where you are. Sounds so good to me. Yeah. Sounds good to me. And I gotta break a thing, get a dagger, and then go cut the painting. Problem. The AI is so horrendous that it's one of those AIs where the that monster walks in circles and then goes back and forth. I understand this is an indie game. I get it. But it would have been a better idea to just not include it at all if it was a problem. Yeah. I don't know. I just need to get this damn section over. Because I hate doing these in games. I hate stealth. Like, not stealth where I can do something. Damn. But stealth in a sense of... This dagger we're putting it different. in to hopefully give you an idea of fear. Like, Observer did this. That's why Observer got an 8 out of 10 for the exact same reason. It's a great indie game, and it's awesome for what it is, but there was no need to put in any kind of insta-death, horror, amnesia-esque sections. At least let me turn the lantern on while it's near me, and that kind of gives me one chance to get away kind of thing, and it runs off because of the light. That would have been good game design, to actually think, oh, it hates light, let's do that. So watch, I'm going to leave the closet and it's gonna be in the freaking corner nope see it came back now Pierce is screaming because he's got aquaphobia or whatever the fuck it is aquaphobia I don't know it's fear of the dark okay if aquaphobia I die, I blame the is game. fear of the water because aqua okay Pierce could you like get over it it's just the dark Okay, I'm almost there. I literally have a straight shot, so I'm taking it. I'm just gonna run up and stab the painting, because that's what I have to do. There we go. That was way more... Okay, now it's pissed. Now it's turning into ink. It's dying like Voldemort. Now it's getting sucked into the painting, and it's taking me with it. No, you ugly mouth bastard. Stab it. There you go. Stab it. Okay, it got sucked back into the painting. But so am I. Oh no. What's the matter with you? Oh yes. Okay. Oh my oh, god! Yes. Why was that you so difficult? You that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this because point, it is. you're right. Okay, the bottle scene. will get you before I do. She you thinks I'm drunk. Anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? The fucking ugly ass painting. Sanders was right. This painting is cursed. What are you talking about? Look at it, please. I was attacked by a creature. Pushed it back, I think. I... I think so, too.
My arm was disappearing into this painting. You must have seen that. I saw you put your trembling hands on a collector's artifact. Where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. Okay. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. The creature. This dagger was the only weapon capable of pushing it back. If Hawkins was trying to get rid of this shambler, she might have made contact with Drake. This antique dealer has a good knowledge of the occult. I have nothing to lose by meeting him. You've got your spunk back. Go where you want. I'm staying here to talk business with Irene. Hungry, okay, suit yourself. <coughs> okay. You're crying in a box. What are you doing? She's just standing looking at a painting and there's an open jewelry box and she's crying in front of it. What the fuck? Alright, chapter 7. Oh, this was the room from the trailer. Okay, the one with the skeleton hanging on the wall. Yeah. So this guy, I'm supposed to get a bunch of occultism skills out of this. Hopefully. Anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying the commentary. Um, this being episode, what is this, 5 of the, the uh, series? And I looked it up, there's 14 chapters, so we're halfway through. The only reason that this Ooh. didn't finish any sooner is because of that... F I'm gonna leave it in the video. They're gonna see how many times I died. Because the game doesn't make it known that you need to find a special dagger to stab the painting with or anything. And again, if I was able to use lantern oil, it would take up a lot of lantern oil, but there's areas to refill, so what's the... Come on, guys. Y'all had so much potential to make that interesting, but no, it's just a stealth hide and run, Where's hide the and side? run. Now, what I want to say, now, this is just from what I've been hearing people talk about it. Um, do you think, in your opinion, is it better or worse Freud's than Shadow of the Colossus? Of dreams. It's the I've work never played that laid Shadow the foundations of, the of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. Well... For the viewers that have, put it in the comment section. Yeah, if there are any viewers at all. But um, I'm gonna compare this to Observer because I have played that all the way through, and it is like an in it's an indie game just like this, just cyberpunk. This is about the same with more detective. I mean, it's two different types of a game, but they're basically the same thing. It's a detective adventure game. The idea is to walk around and search things, An so diary. they're they're about even. But by the end of this game, I'll have to make my final verdict. As of now, they're even. They're both 8 out of 10. The only thing Observer did differently is if I look down, I can actually see my body. But this one has it to where I can't even look down any further than the point where I would even be able to see my body. And you actually can see it in cutscenes, so... I don't know. Quantity over quality or whatever is what I'm getting out of the, the situation because they're both really well made game indie games $30 not too bad. It's just There's bullshit and that's you know as an indie game. It's not gonna be Red Dead Redemption 2 or Cyberpunk 2077 AAA levels But as of now they're both 8 out of 10s. They're worth picking up but only if you're interested into this sort of thing as a steampunk fan, as a Cthulhu mythos, you know, H.P. Lovecraft, this is getting, you know, it's scratching that itch. And same as Observer scratched my Blade Runner cyberpunk itch. So, I would say both games serve that basic purpose. But don't think you're, there's going to be parts. There are going to be parts that will infuriate you. Because... I really do not like when games do that bullshit where they put up a fucking unbeatable monster and they don't tell you how to beat it. You just gotta fucking walk around until you get an icon to click that says beat it. So. That's just what I've seen. 
Oh, and now Pierce runs. Lovely. The Book of Zion is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's Theosophical Movement. Its followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. Okay, so we got people worshipping things now. Awesome. Honestly, I'd have more time believing in this whole mythos, the Cthulhu mythos, than any organized religion today. Yes, get mad in the comments. You know I'm right. Because at least this had a, a beginning, a middle, and an end. You know what? what Read does the this book. Strange book contain? This it's book the Necronomicon. Why am I not reading knowledge? it? Look, there's the monster and how to defeat it, written in blood. Why am I not reading this? Like, I understand the idea of the series was you look at any of these freaking horrors, you lose your mind. But that's kind of a slippery slope because some people have different sanity gradi gradients than others. You know, different things make people insane. So, someone might go insane after experiencing trauma, someone might go insane after gore. Anything. So, Lovecraft kind of tried to mix a bit of that in different ways so you got really gory hospital sections you've got creepy unnamed monsters you've got what happened spiritual here spiritual horror all right we finally have another detective section i love these similar to observer let's start over where did they break in from okay so someone broke in breed blood seems like amateur work okay someone broke a pane of glass Someone tall left his footprint. A man, probably. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Someone tall left this footprint? Are you measuring by shoe size, or...? And that's how you know, because I've seen pretty short people with huge feet. This burglar seems to be rather clumsy. Well, they're not really good of a burglar if they're breaking shit, are they, Pierce? I mean, that's just my non-professional opinion, but... I will give it this. At least this game doesn't do fucking jump scares. Because it doesn't need to. It doesn't need to. The mere fact of being chased is good enough. What killed all these animals? Oh, dead rats. And, wait, what is that? And roaches. Dead rats and roaches all under this painting. What Lovely. sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? I know you. You hate roaches. Luckily, observer. Oh, I'm terrified of roaches. Fucking roaches. What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his if you, work? It, for any game developers out there, if you want to scare me specifically or my type of people, roaches. But yes. fucking roaches. Gross out humor. Swarms of fucking roaches. Out Guarantee you that'll terrify anybody what with the... any sort of Charles Hawkins bug phobia. Wait, how do you know this was Charles Hawkins, you fool? Looks like the symbol rejected Hawkins. Oh. Where did I see it? Where did you see it? What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Wait, that's the doctor, is it? Oh, I hurt my head. Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. <laughs> I clicked on it and I hurt my head. Yes. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything okay. is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Yes. Everything is linked to this Hawkins case now, is it? Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Somebody finds these memoirs, there'll be no down to see your shovel. The following message is a is of capital importance. Whoever reads these lines demonstrate actual act acuity as sharp as mine can hope to gain access to my most precious possession. It lies in my safe, and the clues of the combination are found in these three cylinders. Each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Okay. 
So we're looking for things in Greek. We're gonna use the lighter, because I don't need. Okay. Anatomy and dissection, another doctor book, yay. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? Yes, Pierce, everyone is taking sleeping pills. I what link why. did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? That's a cool looking amulet. I'd like to wear it. The key of Relier. Oh, I get it. Okay, so that's actually the way the the key to the city kind of shit. Wait, Cthulhu has a key to the city? Okay. He has the key to the universe. Actually, more like the key to existence. Aside from his grandfather, um... Arkham Editions. Oh. Never heard of him. Arkham Edition. Nostradamus, The Prophecies. Ooh. How many volumes are there in this collection? See, that's another reference directly another to Another volume Lovecraft. by Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions. Never heard of him. I'm just gonna keep clicking him. How many volumes says. are there in this collection? A lot, Pierce. I'm gonna just keep clicking them away until you stop saying it. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Okay, Arkham but... Editions. Never heard of him. Last one. How many volumes are there in this oh, collection? Same line. Okay. So. I'm trying to think. Is it the number of books or the numbers on the books? I'm confused. I'm just gonna basically just walk around until something lights up an icon to click. That's kind of how this things works. are not looking good. Oh really? Yeah, he sucks at chess. Hey, goblet. A kind of chalice. Pretty. Pretty chalice. I like it. Oop. Get me some lantern oil. Lantern. The green lantern. Oh. That, that actually sounds like somebody's name, Lantern. Probably is. Anybody watching, if your name of any kind is Lantern, please comment. We apologize. Comment. We apologize for making fun <laughs> of your name, but it's too damn funny. Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. Okay, the cylinders. I should perhaps listen to Considering it. that's something my grandfather says all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's how old people talk. Especially if you're from the area which we are from. It which? makes for a hilarious vocabulary. Pierce just burned his damn finger. Good job. Alright, let's see. Wait, what? So wait, can I listen to the damn cylinders? Drake Cylinder 1, meant to be listened to with a phonograph. Phonograph? Where is the phonograph? I think I just saw one. Phonograph? Phonograph... Where Graph a phone. Where is the damn thing? Where the hell? Oh, phonograph, not gramophone. What the fuck wrong with me? Okay, where the wow. hell is it then? Wow. <laughs> wrong button. You know what, let's put on some points, shall we? I have two. I thought you were about to say, let's put on some porn, shall we? Yes. <laughs> Yes, we are going. That's Cthulhu's favorite. Yeah, we don't need that. Tentacles. <laughs> we don't need that. That's already enough of that in this damn game. <laughs> yeah. Except they involve death. Just finding book after book after book after book after book. Oh, and more sleeping pills. <sighs> okay.
Okay, well, where the hell is it? Oh, here it is. I knew I saw it out of the corner of my eye. Cylinder and one. These red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. The guardian of the grail? Okay, so to sum up with the grail... Well, the chalice of knowledge. Okay. The chalice of knowledge will... What do you... Okay, next one. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Okay, so the chessboard. The queen has little protection. Okay, metaphor. Dear Last friend, one. I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. Volume 9. He in particularly mentioned Volume 9. Where is this Volume 9? Drake talked about a particular volume. Uh, wait. So if X... Yeah, IX. So it's 9. So the last number is 9. Is the chess board however many white pieces are still on the board? The queen has little protection. I'm confused. The last number is nine. We get that, so let's just go four. And what about the chalice? The chalice of knowledge. Do the rubies and sapphires make a specific motif? Huh? Wait, what? I mean, these are good puzzles and all, but I'm just trying to figure it out. Okay, well, let's just see. See if my hunch was right. So what was it? Four, four and nine were the last two numbers, and then we can just gamble on the first. Okay, whisper some more. Okay, four. No. Four. just gonna keep doing this because the goblet one I didn't get sorry okay well that didn't work um or is it all of the volumes of the Arkham edition okay so these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message What did Drake say about this collection? Drake talked about a particular volume. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message. It's IX. What did Drake say about this collection? Drake talked about a particular volume. Yes, I'm looking for nine, damn it. It's kind of difficult when you can't find it. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message. Okay. Well, there's volume nine. I mean, what did you want from me? Uh, 
Let's look at this the thing. The chalice of knowledge. Okay, let's uh let's see. Do the rubies and sapphires make a specific motif? Which would be what? I'm gonna pull up the clues online and just I'm not gonna cheat I'm gonna just look at all the clues in text okay the red drops okay so the the red rubies okay so the chalice of one, knowledge. Two, three, Five before it, wait. Okay, so when it's looking at me like this, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so five crystals or rubies, and then the, the clue says the white queen protecting for her from the. So it's the queen this. has little protection. Okay, so it's the protection. So there's three. So it's five, three, nine because that's the damn amount of books, because that's what I thought to begin with. 539. There we go. Yay. See, when you look at the clues written out, it's easier. Okay, what is this? A big book. A really big book. Okay, is this the Necronomicon? It's huge. It's full of blood. It's old as hell. Oh, an eyeball. Oh, look, Zenyatta's coming out of the book. Whoa. Going on a journey through time and space. All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna call this episode here. So it was this episode five. Tune in next time for episode six.